If you're here today, then chances are you're in need of some motivation. I personally love watching peaceful videos of people getting their housework done, so I get it. But I'm also going to be honest with you. This just happened to be a really great day for me. I woke up with enough energy and I'm not in a funky season anymore, so I have the mental capacity to get things done. I also don't have kids or lead a traditional corporate job, so my hours are more flexible. I know that sometimes, watching people on YouTube being so productive and having all their ducks in a row could be discouraging because it's just not realistic for most people. So while I want to help you feel more motivated, I also want you to know that I have days where I just work on my computer all day and don't have the capacity to do anything else and days where I feel so overwhelmed that I get pretty much nothing done. And that is completely normal. Today, I'm happy to report that I have a full tank in me, so let's get started. First things first, I love making coffee for John in the morning. I've recently discovered a coffee company called Saturn Bird, where they package their premium instant coffee in these 100% recyclable cups. The coffee is ground so incredibly fine that it just dissolves instantly when it hits water. It's absolutely mesmerizing to watch how quickly the coffee dissolves in just room temperature water. Saturn Bird uses a cold extraction technology that I find completely retains the taste and aroma of freshly ground coffee, unlike any other instant coffee pod I've ever tried. After that, I just add ice, pour the mixture onto the ice, and add a bit of oat milk. Delicious! You could actually just pour the coffee straight into the ice cold water but I wanted to show you the dissolving process through the glass container. John's first love language is coffee, so I like to show my love for him by making him a fresh cup of joe anytime I can. And now, it takes me less than two minutes to make a high quality, decadent cup of coffee. John gets his delicious morning delight, and I get to save a ton of time while doing it. If you're a coffee person too, I highly recommend giving this brand a try. Although Saturn Bird is the generous sponsor of this video, I would still gladly recommend them even if they weren't. They're just a solid coffee company that cares about innovation and quality. There are also 6 degrees of roasted beans to choose from, and the coffee powder is 100% Arabica beans. I'll link to Saturn Bird in my description box below. Anyway, since we have some time this morning, I'm gonna make some waffles and really treat myself to something nice. I notice that when I cook these days, it's always for other people, never just for myself. I want to change that because I think it's important to take time for self-care as well. Cooking for yourself is a very tangible way to nurture the body that God has given you. After eating, I like to dive into my devotionals. I use my devotional journal every single day because it's built into my daily rhythm. This week, I'm learning about my identity as a child of God. The assignment is to cut out the paper strips and create a jar of origami stars. Just like how each one is unique and beautiful in its own way, so are we in the eyes of the Lord. 
This jar of stars will sit on my bookshelf to remind me that although we may look different and think differently, in Christ, we are all His beloved children. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about what it means to take responsibility for one's life. This might sound like common sense at first, but it's actually very hard to do if you haven't been taught how. Taking responsibility for your life would mean owning everything that you've ever done and everything that's ever done to you. This could be a very painful thing to process, especially if you've experienced trauma in the past. Many people who are scarred and bitter from what happened to them become the living embodiment of that hurt and resentment. They unknowingly bring these traumatic experiences with them everywhere they go, causing it to erode their present relationships. What happened in the past continues to cause damage in the present because it hasn't been resolved. Taking responsibility for your life is taking a good, hard look at everything that you've been through and saying, no matter what happened to me, I get to choose how I respond to it now. I get to choose how I treat people now. And I am in control of myself right now. It's quite the opposite of the victim mindset. There's a quote I heard recently from Anna Akana, and it's a classic quote by Carl Jung. He said, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. When we take responsibility for our lives, we invite God to go in and repair the hidden wounds, and we allow ourselves to walk in freedom from those past hurts. So this week, I encourage you to make time to dig deeper and dare to uncover some of these unconscious hurts. Bring them to the light and invite Jesus to heal you. More than cooking, cleaning, or working, your inner healing is the most productive thing you could possibly do for yourself in this lifetime.